Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. Quick video. I'm going to try to keep it under five minutes, so bear with me. Quick video on uh, why the Ascent HSP training is so important. If you guys have been following my channel for years, you know I'm a big proponent in weighted stretch overload and eccentric overload. So the negatives, I know they get a lot of hate. I get a lot of hate each time I mention them, but guys, those are techniques that have been tested for decades. So I'm going to focus this one on the science only, but I still believe to this day that uh, the weighted stretch and the eccentric part uh, of the lift is by far the most important and if you remove it out of hsp training it falls apart because i have a lot of clients who love the program but they want to remove the ass part they're like hey megan it's too painful um you know is there a way to go around it i don't think so you know every body part i've done it on especially the body parts that i did nucleus overload nucleus overload on when you put those together the growth is phenomenal so let's get straight to it number one more muscle in less time, right? So it takes double the sets of concentric only to get the same growth that you would get if you actually did decentric, right? And there's studies on this. So one person will do four sets, controlling the negative, you know, you know, focus on eccentrics, and you will have to do eight sets, double that work in order to get the same result. So hands down, it's much more time efficient um, to just do your negatives, guys. Don't skip out on your eccentrics. You're getting more growth in, in um, half the time. Uh, same thing if you have to do 20 sets, but guess what? You could cut down to 10 sets um, per week or whatever, uh, you know, if you focus on your eccentric. It's kind of like the hyperbolic time chamber. Benefit number two, keep your gains and strength. Studies have shown that people that focus on the eccentrics or that do eccentric overload training get to keep their gains even up to six weeks. Six weeks of deep training. And this was on trained men, by the way. Um, volume was equated between the concentric and eccentric group. And the guys who focus on eccentric were able to keep their strength and their gains, you know, up to six weeks, which is insane, especially if you're trying to do an mTOR reset phase. Um, benefit number three, more strength. Everybody knows that you're 20 to 50 percent stronger on the eccentric, um, and it's obviously going to, you know, be important for recruiting the high threshold muscle fiber. Benefit number four, more satellite cells. You guys know I'm huge on satellite cells. Um, studies have shown that you get up to 27 percent more satellite cell activation with eccentrics, as opposed to zero percent on the concentrics unless you try to obviously you know double the sets or double the work you know try to get the same response so more satellite cells more body deeper nuclei you know more chances for hyperplasia next you get more igf1 more mechanical growth factor more satellite cell activity more protein synthesis androgen receptors all of that stuff uh, and you guys already know what igf1 is if you if you watch my videos um benefit number six you get 80 percent less igf before long story short for those who haven't watched my previous videos it's pretty much uh, what makes IGF-1 inactive. It binds to it and kind of fucks it up, right? So that kind of hinders protein synthesis, and, you know, that hinders cell cell activation. And eccentric training leads to 80% less IGF-4, even if you equate the volume. So this is one thing that's specific to eccentric training. So even if you do double the work on concentric to try to get the same uh, uh, benefits of eccentric, you don't get the 80%. Uh, you don't get the huge drop in IGBF pro 4, which is a huge thing that a lot of people overlook. Benefit number seven, you get a bigger rise in protein synthesis, and I'm talking about myofibular protein synthesis, and that's even if you equate volume, work match. Number eight, you more fast with fiber recruitment, right? Maybe, in fact, my last video was about that, right? So you get to recruit those high threshold motor units uh, faster with eccentric. Remember, those are the ones that actually grow the most, so Number nine, more androgen receptors. And this study was actually on trained male athletes, right? So you get a lot more androgen receptor activity. Uh, benefit number 10, more hyperplasia. You guys know I'm huge, huge on the, uh, the BIRD study. I mentioned in almost every video. In fact, it was one of the biggest things that inspired me to, do, to research rag pools and, you know, uh, put the HSP training program together. So a lot more hyperplasia has been seen from eccentric training and weighted structures than from concentric. In the bird study, the cat study, the rat study. Uh, number 11, you get more mTOR activation. You guys know my channel. I'm big on mTOR, you know, protein synthesis, P70, X6K, all that stuff. Uh, you get more growth hormone, which obviously is going to lead to more IGF-1 within the muscle, more uh, MGF conversion, more, less myostatin, all that stuff. Number 13, again, you get less myostatin. Studies have shown that. Uh, in order for you to uh, get the same myostatin reduction response, from concentric, again, you got to double the volume, you know, which doesn't make sense at all. And of course, you guys know, less mass time is more hyperplasia, more cell cell activation. Um, number 14, you get more power and force production, more speed, you know, and it's related to tight end, um, more type 2x fiber conversion, uh, squat, jump, all that stuff. 
And finally, you get stronger connective tissue that's going to really reduce your risk of injury. Um, and again, a lot of athletes do this to prevent injuries, guys. They focus on eccentrics, you know, so they don't snap their shit up. So finally, eccentrics and stress overload are fucking boss. The only downside is you're going to get some soreness and thumbs. I personally love it. Some people don't. And obviously, you got to manage recovery well. They're very, very tough to recover from. So if your recovery is trash, you might want to stay away and double the volume in your concentrics instead. That's it, guys. Hope this video helps. Do not take the ass out of HSP training. Focus on your eccentrics. Thumb up the video. See you in the comment section. Hit me up for coaching. I'm out.